Welcome to Benji Man TV. Today I'm bringing you my chicken pesto spaghetti dish. It's super simple, it's super easy. Uh, really the only cooking involved is the chicken and the onions and then you throw the pasta in the water and this is so good. Uh, the pesto is so fresh, especially if you make it at home. Um, but we'll just go right into the ingredients. The first thing you're gonna have, obviously spaghetti. You can use just about any pasta. I prefer spaghetti. You also have chicken. Now I am gonna be using chicken thighs because I love the flavor. Don't be afraid of the fat, that also gives it more flavor and uh, I just like it for this type of dish. Also, pesto. I do make my own pesto, but you can buy pesto at just about any grocery store these days. Um, if you want, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll be putting out my pesto recipe soon. Also, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, cut up onions, and salt and pepper. It's important to have the right tools when you're cooking. Uh, today, the tool I wanna highlight are tongs, okay? These are super useful. I use it for stirring the um, pasta while it's boiling. I use it to grab ingredients. And today, when we actually toss the pasta in the pesto sauce, I'll be using these tongs. I'll put a link down below for all the tools I use. So, first off, do yourself a favor. Get your water boiling in your pot. Make sure you have a big enough pot. Make sure that water is nice and hot and at a rolling boil. What I'm gonna do is turn my heat onto a medium high heat. Make sure you get your pan nice and warm um, before throwing your chicken in. After your pan is nice and warm, go ahead and splash some olive oil in there. Try to get some high quality olive oil if you can. Go ahead and add your chicken. You should hear a sizzle right when you put it in there because what we wanna do is we wanna get some color on this and brown it. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Once the chicken is lightly brown, you're gonna go ahead and throw in your chopped up onions in there as well, and just go ahead and cook it through. All right, so everything is cooked through. Turn off the heat to this chicken, set this aside, and you can go ahead and focus on your pasta next. Once your water is at a rolling boil, go ahead and put your salt in. This is really important because it's gonna help flavor whatever pasta you use in your dish. Follow the directions on your pasta box, and once that's finished, you're gonna go ahead and prepare the dish. All right, real quick, make sure you do not leave your pasta covered because what happens, it starts foaming up like this. I just do it to get it back to a rolling boil, and then I follow the directions on the package. A few minutes before your pasta is finished cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing the dish that I'm gonna be mixing the pasta in. Take your pesto, um, go ahead and put a whole bunch of it right at the bottom. Add a little bit more Parmesan cheese down there. I like to uh, add a few squirts of olive oil, black pepper, and just go ahead and leave that. You always wanna base your cooking time off of taste. Al dente. Now, because this dish will not be finished in the pan, I like it to be a little bit past al dente. Turn off your heat, drain it right here. So, this is done draining. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this right directly into the bowl. Bam! At this point, I like to go ahead and add all the chicken, add a little bit more pesto, put some of your pasta water right into this. Take your tongs and you're gonna go ahead and mix. Get your tongs. Again, tongs are just so convenient for uh, when you're making pasta. If you wanna be all pro, just go ahead and take your tongs and twist it like that. Add some of that freshly grated Parmesan right to the top there. Take your Instagram picture and bam! Let's go ahead and taste it. So much flavor in this dish. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more dishes like this. Comment below on the type of recipes you wanna see. Thank you so much for watching and I just wanna give a shout out to one of my idols when it comes to cooking, Jamie Oliver. He has a YouTube channel called Food Tube. I actually got the inspiration to make this dish from him. So thank you very much. You can check his channel out right here. Um, if you want other pasta dishes from me, bam, right here. And cooking, it's pretty easy. I like to flip it. Whoa! Danger zone. <laughs>